In recent days, there has been speculation about the possibility of King Charles making an official statement following the video statement of Catherine, Duchess of Wales. Many believe that the declaration could refer to the succession to the throne, a possible regency or even abdication. However, various British and international media offer different perspectives on the future of the British royal family. The explanation could go in multiple directions, and some say that even if he was officially vacationing at Barrow Castle, something could be expected that may not come true. Charles III's work never ends, much to the annoyance of Queen Camilla as the king battles cancer. This friend of Charles added another twist to his workload, there's not much point in being king if you don't act like one. When he steps into Barrow Castle, if I sat feeling sorry for myself, morale would collapse, and that's what really matters. He intends to spend the time he has left working to the best of his ability. So far, everything is normal, except for the usual, unfortunately predictable ending. An insider even said that things could get worse quickly when it comes to cancer. New details from one of the most well-connected people in the industry say that King Charles is not anywhere near the 167-room castle. He is sleeping well, but he's clearly not feeling well. Instead of staying in a big mansion this time, Prince Charles and Camilla will stay at their home in the Birka Hall mansion. Where they actually spent much of the pandemic, while the Prince and Princess of Wales will enter the castle in appropriate attire. It's no wonder that royal watchers were worried about His Majesty's health. Maybe their three children. Many wondered what kind of treatment he received, why he didn't lose his hair, and what type of cancer he is battling. Now insiders are shedding light on the king's road to recovery, urging caution over his speaking schedule. Adding that he is increasingly nervous about a grueling overseas trip to Australia and Samoa scheduled for October. It was last week, but on Tuesday His Majesty travelled to Southport, where babies King Ali de Stanholm and Alice D. Silva Ga were killed on July 29 during a Taylor Swift dance class. The following day, His Majesty met with grieving families in London after which His Majesty ascended to the throne. He reportedly returned to Beryl by helicopter on Thursday, meaning multiple trips from one end of the UK to the other and back again. The seriously ill 75-year-old Queen Mary worries that her husband is working too much, and has publicly voiced her concerns. Telling well-wishers that she wants Prince Charles to behave. Her slow but half-joking tone at this time surreptitiously masks a real concern that her husband will not prioritize his recovery. In this case, I actually think William could have acted as Charles' representative in Southport. I give great credit to Charles for acting incredibly bravely these last six months, but it is clear that he is not well and things could go wrong quickly. He is fighting cancer at Sandringham and is often seen clearing his head at the country estate he has managed since the death of Prince Philip. King, unlike any other family on earth, worked privately. There is also the inevitable question of what happens next and what it means for a country and commonwealth already reeling from the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The monarchy is now slimmed down even further, with public duties mainly carried out by women in their 70s. The public will wonder what will fill the void left by the king, who will be stuck in public for the time being.